Welcome back. Better than a Let's Play episode 13. I'm an Igneous, and this is my rubber forest outside our central towers. We're starting a new project today, one that you probably never saw coming. We're down here. We're actually in the basement of the central tower. You can see our little liquid glowstone and water elevator system. We're excavating a tunnel for a nuclear bunker. We're putting in a nuclear reactor, that's right. I've never actually put in a... I've made a nuclear reactor before. I put some uranium and the coolant and the things in it, and it did this stuff, and I said, yeah, whatever. And uh, I never really made a whole lot of use out of it. In this case, I'm not expecting to do a whole lot with it either. But one of the things that's been kind of holding me back with my applied energistics matter energy storage system is I don't want to fuel it. I'm just, I'm so over the energy metagame that I don't want to mess around with boilers. I don't want to do, um, you know, all magmatic engines. I don't, I just, I'm, I'm over it. So I decided that I would do something new where with any luck, I can run a nuclear reactor, set it all up, make all the uranium cells, run the reactor, fill some MFSUs, and then just run that for a while and just let it go until those are almost empty and then go and run it again. Something low impact, easy to do, that if I set it up properly, I can run it sort of behind the scenes and not worry about it. I I'm just, the whole Minecraft jewels thing, using that is sort of the mainstay power source for much of anything right now. I'd actually rather use cobblestone furnaces, to be completely honest with you. I'm that over it. You can see here, we're starting with kind of an oval tunnel. Oval in the voxel sense, so obviously you have to kind of stretch your imagination a little bit in order to get that kind of shape. And I'm using a pickaxe with the heat modifier from Dartcraft so that it all comes back to me as stone instead of cobblestone, which is kind of neat. Kind of, you know, not, not really all that important, but... Uh, it was just one of those things that I thought of and said, yeah, why not? Let's do it that way. Now, the whole idea here is that we're trying to keep this close enough to our facilities that it's useful whenever I need to run the reactor. I don't have to go far to do it. It's just a quick hop down a glowstone pillar and everything's fine. Um, but shielded in such a way that if I do do something silly and cause an explosion, it's not going to spill over into the rest of the facility and do things that would really kind of upset me, like blow up our storage system or something ridiculous like that. Now, I know that the, the explosions from nuclear reactors tend not to be that big, but I figure if we're going to build a nuclear reactor, why do it half-assed? Why, I mean, why not just put it in a dirt hut, for Christ's sake, if, if we're going to half-ass it? So uh, I'm going to do it with reinforced glass, and for those of you who... Um, have been following my Minecraft stuff since the Tekkit days, you may remember uh, I developed a rather profound distaste for reinforced glass because of the way that if you misplaced it, which happens in every build I do, I misplace at least one block. It takes forever to break it and then it just shatters like normal glass. So even if you're not trying to recover it, it takes forever just to move it out of the way because you put it in the wrong spot. And if you were hoping to recover it because you made just enough blocks for the project, uh, you're boned. So I kind of learned that I would prefer to avoid reinforced glass, but in this case I figured it, it's not that big of a deal. I did actually have to make a compressor, an industrial craft compressor, and uh, I used a geothermal generator to power it just so I could make the advanced alloys for the reinforced glass. And also it'll come in handy for making the uranium cells and probably oh yeah the dense copper plates and stuff like that so it's it wasn't a complete waste but it was a, a purpose build just one geothermal generator and a compressor now you can see here um, I'm setting myself up with a walkway like everything else just because I can fly most of the time doesn't mean I want to count on being able to fly all the time so if I am without flight for whatever reason I can just head on down the column of liquid glowstone onto this platform and then I was so happy with the way the bridge turned out, I decided to continue with that theme of using the micro blocks to make a really smooth kind of flowing walkway instead of just a straight walking path. Now, there's actually a bit of practical benefit in that, in that I can orient the reinforced glass to protect a little bit better from the blowback out 
into the center of the tower if the reactor should melt down. And you can see it's got the whole kind of curvy sort of thing. So mostly just uh, having fun building, I have to say. I'm not really concerned too much about the technicalities of installing a nuclear reactor um, because I don't plan on putting myself in a position where I can intend, you know, I'm not looking to push the limits. I'm not, I understand that there's a, a really, well, I can't say popular, but there's a metagame involved in trying to find the most efficient nuclear reactor setups with all the cells and the, the vents and the dispersers and the re neutron deflect. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not interested. <laughs> I just want uh, a few MFSUs uh, to each have a little bit of power in them so that I can run my applied energistics matter energy setup. I, I, I just can't believe how sick I am of Minecraft jewels right now. I just I would rather do it with EU. But you can see now reinforced glass going into place. Now I, I haven't even done or checked the math. I think it's like four blocks thick and you'll lose pretty much all your reinforced materials in a, a maximum power nuclear blast but it won't be able to escape beyond that. So for the most part, this will be pretty well shielded. The worst case sort of scenario um, would be, like I say, the, the blast going out to the two smaller towers to either side of where we are and destroying things in there that are actually a little bit more involved to set up and things like, for example, the storage system, which may at some point, if it got large enough, extend near the nuclear reactor. So that was kind of a consideration. <laughs> Just, I don't want to blow up all of my stuff and you can see in terms of like the blowback the majority of the blowback there's gonna be so much reinforced glass that it's like the least of my worries this was actually I decided that I would set up a high voltage transformer to receive power from the nuclear reactor setup and then send it out four circuits of glass fiber cable to MFSU's that I could then route wherever. Now one is going to go to the ME, the Applied Energistics Storage System. There's going to be one probably going to some industrial craft related tools. Um, and then two in reserve, I guess. I don't really know. But trying to figure out how to orient this thing. And there's basically two things that I'm trying to keep in mind. One is I know exactly where I want each glass fiber cable circuit to run. So that they don't cross over one another when they finally get to their their destined positions but also I want to try and keep it as compact as possible so that we can get as much reinforced glass around it as possible before we start choking off the area where the nuclear reactor is going to be set up and it's a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated and you can see I'm just like I'm putting cables and I'm breaking the cables and then I'm putting more cables and breaking cables and that's actually that black block is like a foot of insulation on a little wee tiny reinforced iron cable that's the extreme voltage the high voltage quadruple insulated super duper superconductor donkey cable 1000 I don't, I don't I just I remember when I placed it and I was like what the fuck is this supposed to be uh, it's big it's in the way it's complicating things but I eventually got it set up and I got it working and you can see we're just like burying it in reinforced glass now and I'm leaving just enough exposed so that I can go in and finish wiring it once I get everything in place. So we've got the four glass fiber cables running along the top and we've got down in the back there you can see the high voltage cable. We're on our way really. All I need to do is make some more cables. I've already got the MFSUs made. I made four of them. So many diamonds. And when you make those stupid energy crystals, they don't stack. They don't. They don't care. But we got those. We got four MFSUs, so we need more glass fiber cable. I have to make the nuclear reactor and the reactor chambers, and then we're gonna put it in a place. We're gonna fire it up, and we're gonna see if we can't get some power as opposed to an explosion. That's what I've been working on, building the hell out of this thing. So, uh, next episode we'll probably do a little bit of live action. We'll chronicle that. It's probably going to be boring as shit. Just, hey, look, it's it's running and making power, but what else can you do? Leave your comments and feedback below. Subscribe if you want. Follow me on the Twitters at Enigmius1. Thanks for watching. Hey.